Hi guys, welcome to Nickelodeon's gaming channel. Nickelodeon here. Going to go ahead and give you a brief overview today on how to use Zyger Guide's new gold earning guide. It's very in depth, just like Zyger Guide itself is. Um, let's go ahead and jump right into it here. I'm logged into my Horde character. Now, the gold guide doesn't matter which faction you're on. Gold, gold. So, um, right now I'm doing some alchemy skills, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, it's added a new section here called gold. So, you click on that. Now, they have gold runs, um, which you can do. To and how much gold it will net you and about how long it will take you to do it. So, you know, 68 gold for five minutes of your time. That's not too bad. Okay, and they're all these, these are all the freaking dailies you can do. Okay. Then they have farming. Um, what's currently going for the most right now. Gathering, if you want to go out and just pick up stuff that's laying around, you know, like um, herbs and stuff like that and ores. Now, crafting actually is like if you wanted to smelt bars or something like that. Because I don't have any um, smelting abilities, it's not going to show me any crafting things. Only, it's only it's uh, profession specific for your characters, all right. And currently, if there's anything in the auction that's selling cheap and you can resell high, you can, that's extremely difficult as far as um, you know making sure that you're getting the right pro profit. Like here's 344 percent, you can buy it for one gold, sell it for four. That's 344 percent markup, and it's sell. I mean, you can make money. So that's how. The, that works. You buy low, sell high. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to use the actual auction house portion of it. Um, this is all pretty self-explanatory. If you wanted to farm silk weave, it tells you if you're double click on it, say go to kill wild vine mobs only, and that actually tells you to go to I believe it is Stranglethorn Vale. Yeah, right here. And you just kill these little guys in here, and they'll drop silk cloth, wool cloth. I don't, they don't drop mage weave or the wild vines, but um, they do drop the silk and wool, and you just pick those up, bring them back, sell them for money. And you just have to fly around a little spot killing them, and they're pretty tightly packed, so you can, if you have an AOE character or whatever, you can clear those up pretty quickly. Um, now, as far as banking goes, um, what I do is, I, if I'm going to sell things, I don't sell them on the character. I've actually created a bank alt, and I'll show you how the mail thing works real quick. So if I'm going to send mail, okay, this is this Zyger Guides drop out here, okay. Stuff I want to sell that I no longer need. So I don't need Strangle Kelp or the Mage Royal, Briar Thorn, uh, Swift Thistle, Bruise Weed, Silver Leaf. I need the Cadgar's Whiskers still. King's Blood, Fade Leaf, Life Fruit, Can All Go, Steel Bloom, uh, the Gold Thorn. These lesser mana potions can all go. Okay, this is the great thing. You just select the stuff you want to send. I need to sell the thing. I need to send the to Harmony. I'll send those two. Um, and that's it. Then all you do is you pick your character you want to send it to. In my case, mine's named Bankenstein. And hit send. Done. Uh, reset these. Send. There. So as you can see, it emptied out my inventory. I don't know why this isn't cleared off, but... There you go. So the Kagger Whiskers I need for the next step of my quest, so I'm holding on to those for now. Okay. Um, so that's for the mail. Now, if you get mail back, you'll just go to the inbox. It'll have the same thing, and you'll hit collect, and the mail will come right into your cloud. It'll pick up all the items. It'll do everything. It'll completely empty your inbox. All right. So let's go ahead and go inside the auction house, and I'll, sh I'll switch over my characters real quick, and I'll show you how that works. All right. Here we are on my bank alt. Here we are on my bank alt. And you can see here I've got my two packages from, from the ones I just sent. And you can see here I have all the inbox stuff. So I'll just hit collect. Done. Okay, now I see it's all in my inventory here. And we're going to go ahead and head to the auction house. And we're going to put some of this stuff up for sale. Now, it's all right here on the side. Okay. It says right here, like, prices are down, you may want to wait. This will even tell you. You might want to just hold on to those items because right now it's they're, it's not worth selling for. Right now the prices are up. Sell now. Fade leave. Okay. Now, you can also do a Zyger scan, which is a fast scan of the auction house with everything in it, which I'm going to go ahead and run real quick. All right. So I updated it, and now it's less than a minute old. So now it's giving me the proper things. Prices are normal for Spirits of Harmony, all this stuff. These are all down right now, so it, should be, it would behoove me to hold on to it. Um, what is these? The item market is unstable. It fluctuates on need, based on need, and there's no trend data for these items. So we're gonna go ahead, and these are high, so price gouge to sell now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. You're just gonna go to the auctions here, drag and drop this item in there. 
or rather, out of your bag. <laughs> Goldborn, there you are. Put him in there. Appraise it. Now, uh, because I screwed this up, I have to wait for it to go through all of them. All right. No, I don't know why it's not. It should do it automatically. Okay. So there you are. See now, right now, it's currently 18 gold for one. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that auction. Um, this jade's high right now. Fade leaf is really high right now. Uh, these are all normal, so I'm going to go ahead and put those in because I know those will sell. Silk cloth, 41 gold right now. Bruiseweed. Now, see all these bruiseweed stuff I picked up on while I was cruising around. So, this is basically how it works. You just keep dragging and dropping from the list here and putting them in the, in the auction. Just like that. All right. Now, I'm just going to sit on these items. I have no reason not to. Let me go ahead and clear this up. I'm going to put equipment in this bag and trade goods in this bag. Alright, so this is all items I've got for sale. Now when the money comes back, I'll just use the add-on and put pick up. Didn't mean to do that, sorry. And hit pick up. Um, once that's all done, then it's just wash, rinse, and repeat. Now it's better to set up a bank character that you can just, as you're out in the world collecting items and you know getting those green drops and you don't want to run, you don't want to all go back to town, you can just hit a mailbox, send them off to them, um, and you know, they can pick them up and do the auctioning for you, which is great. And that's what the great thing about the send mail, because you can just hit Bankenstein and just click all the stuff you want to send, boom, gone. And it empties your inbox. Now, if you need money from this character, you just obviously just mail it to whoever you need it to, and it's not a problem. It'll just be sitting on all your cash. Um, I've got one more feature I want to show you on this. Uh, I'll go over to gold here. Now, I also recommend that if, you, if you're going to do any of the gold runs or farming, or, you know, they're going to have something because I don't have any skills, I, I'm not any le I'm a level 1, so none of this is going to work for me. But if you're, good, like you shot, as you saw in my 90, I had gold runs that I could do to get money. It has all the proven strategies. Um, oh, excuse me. So those are the, those are the tied, tried and tested true ways of getting money. They're not like gimmicks, like, oh, you have to go here with, you know, a potion of luck and, and AOE farm things. Um, those are still viable options. They're just not included in Gut Zygor because the you know there could be somebody there, there could be somebody you know, it could have just been cleared, whatever. Now I would recommend that you do the bank character or the bank all. I've done it on all of my servers, and it works out great. Um, the other thing would be if you wanted to do a lot of farming or collecting. Now collecting, I would suggest using a druid um, because they have the shapeshift flight form. I can just fly down, pick up, fly away. They don't have. It's great for collecting stuff, whatever their profession. Right now, ore is really hot and herb, herb is really hot, so I use my druid for that. Now, as far as running, like instances and stuff, the best thing you use is like a tank, like a tank type character, so druids, paladins, warriors. Um, I still use my druid for rich, rich, all my farming, even if instances, because he can tank. Especially with the new dual spec gear, so, but if you want to do a lot of kill farming where you're, you know, you're getting cloth and, you know, stuff like that, then I would recommend using you, again, you could use a druid because he can do boomkin, but something with a pet so he can tank stuff while you're running around. So hunters, warlocks work great. Um, those are just my opinions, and if you have any questions, please leave comments down in the section below. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you don't. That's fine, too. And thanks for watching.